Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. We are June 22nd, 2013, and this is episode 44. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter. And you can find us on Blip, YouTube, and iTunes under Two Tangled Skeins. And our show notes are on our website, which is twotangledskeins.com. And come join our group, because we have prizes. Yes. We actually have prizes today. Today. We have prizes. Um, we have lots of prizes today. Yes. Um, and you can also find us on Twitter under Two Tangled Skeins. It's the number two and then Tangled Skeins. You didn't do the number two. Come on, people expect that. Thank you. Actually, most people expect me to <laughs> do the TWO. Oh, right, the TWO. <laughs> oh, that's the air rolling. ride. Yes. Yeah, because I, yes. yeah. Just go with it. So, or so. I could always do it in you know sign language if you'd rather. You could, and so and you know the voice and the hand is here as well. Toll baby, who is Lynn? <laughs> he was apparently not talking at the moment. Yep. Sorry. She's concentrating. Woohoo! Prizes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. The okay. side is like really bright. And that's just natural lighting. Maybe yeah. I should have put up the thing. Eh. Too late now. Too late now, because I ain't getting up on the couch to put up the thing. Ah. Uh, my butt. Woo! <laughs> we're also not restarting. No, we're not. <clears throat> so, it's on the needles. Because there's no FOs. At least I don't have any. Oh, yes. I guess technically I could show the sweater I was wearing. You could. Because that's been an FO for like three years. But we've done that before. You yep. could if you wanted to. And uh -huh. I actually have the... Oh, well, yeah. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> it's wool. Oh, okay. It's 100% wool. Anyway. I didn't realize it was in here. No Sorry. recent oh. FOs, we'll just say. I'm wearing my socks that I finished last week. And I gotta say, biscuit and C on your feet? Awesome. Proof. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Proof! <laughs> no <laughs> hair at all! <laughs> Sue tipping! <laughs> No, that's only Gary tipping. It's only when we're not here. <laughs> and there has to be alcohol involved. Because <laughs> that was not a full-fledged tip. No. Nope. No. Well, I can't exactly tip you because, you no. know, back up so fun and everything. Anyways. Yeah, they works best on the bed. <laughs> back on track. I have no sense of balance. <laughs> None! <laughs> yeah, especially I not while tipsy. Down. Yeah. Oh, God. Especially not while tipsy. Uh -huh. But yet, I can knit and walk. Knitting and walking. Just crazy. Yeah, that's what everyone else thinks, too. You should have seen this face on the bus driver when I got on the bus to go home last night. I had... This. Yeah. I had, uh, basically, the needles poking out of my fingers everywhere. And you can't see what's in it, and the ball was in a bag. So you couldn't really see the string attached to it, due to the brightly colored shirt I was wearing. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it, it was a what the hell expression. But anyways, moving right along. Foes! Um, this is actually one I've shown on the show before. This is my spring trellis hat. Which it's so pretty. It's a slow chat, which you can kind of see from the, the size of it. Uh, with a vine leaf pattern going oh, outside go. and then uh, just knits and yarn over, or uh, knit two togethers and yarn overs for the, the sides over here. And this one, um, thank you for reminding me about it. Um, I, I've got three people knitting it up right now for testing. One of them's already done. <coughs> so we'll see. It should be published in the next week or so. Because mm -hmm. it was just rewrite the pattern. Not even really rewrite it. Well, just you redo the charts. Last August? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Last Episode August 10. or September, yeah. Some, it would have been September or October, I guess. Oh, but is yeah. It? Okay. So that one will be up soon. And. Yeah, it's really all the foes. Yes. I'm going to skip the sweater because then I'd have to go on Rav and find out what the name of the sweater is and everything else. It just happened to be one I grabbed this morning. And we're too lazy. Yes, we are. Then there's that. <coughs> um, but yeah, that's the only FO I've got. I have none. So I should just move on to right along because you've got a lot to talk okay. about. Uh, I've 
got foes. I almost, I have this one mostly finished. Hose. The second one, foes. <laughs> Half finished. Um, this is the well. Technically, it's a foe because the pattern's done. No, no, it's not Ooh, a foe until you got a pair a of socks. Until, on your yeah, feet. really. <laughs> just the Cheater. fine line. Come on. I uh, yeah, whatever. Moving right along. Moving right along. So this is my uh, Hermes wings pattern. Uh, which I finally got back from all my testers. Thank you guys very much. Yay, testers! Yay. Um, so it is ready to be published. So by the time most of you are watching this, this pattern will actually be up. Um, there isn't going to be a coupon code for it because I'm actually only putting it up for $2. Sweet. So, but I will put a note in the thread and whatnot. But yeah. He, there's the sock. It's all done and it's squishy. And the other one's half finished. I just forgot to actually put the pattern chart on my phone, so I wasn't able to actually finish it yesterday. <laughs> so I didn't, It's almost there. It's almost there. Yep. And I have a very, what I was picking up, I might as well show you this too. This is, I don't know if you can see the sparkle or, oh yeah, you yes, can. Yes, you can. Um, this is Nidian Color. Hi, Sarah. Um, yarn in her Pandora's Aquarium colorway and it's her sparkle base um, and I got this while we were doing the knit along uh, back in the early spring. she going to get stitches? I yes. guess so. Yes, yes. I confirmed with her. Yay! Yes! Stalking Sarah! Yep! Um, and this is a sock which will either become a nether pattern or it'll just become a plain sock. It depends on once I get past the toe what I feel like. With those colors? I'm thinking vanilla. Yeah. Well, I have an idea for something that'll work really well with the, the bright, because that's a complaint I've heard a lot, is you can't find sock patterns for... Bright colored yarns. For brightly colored yarns. Okay. And this is, oh my god, bright, and I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to try my hand probably at coming up with something, but we'll see if Simple, it works. Simple, but still showcase, showcases the bright and sparkly. Exactly. If it doesn't work, it's a vanilla sock. If it does work, it's another pattern. Why not? Why not? Since you're into this whole designing thing now. Yep. Um, and that one I'll probably just put up for free because it'll, it's going to be a dirt simple pattern. Mentioning that, what is your design company's name? Oh, Knit Pug. <laughs> I was trying my Sorry, wait. Uh, Can't get it to focus. Focus! Oh, yes! Anyways, you get Anyway, it. that's her design. Yep. Um, I was trying my hand a couple of nights hand. ago at making um, Yay. business cards. I'm but useful. I like them. They're black and white, and I like the border around the the pug, the actual emblem. So it simple works. Some simple is good, and if you can do it on your printer. Yeah. It okay. took a while to get the printer to decide to actually print something other than chunks of ink, like actual chunks that well, flaked off always, the paper. We've got a laser printer here, so we can always This is that. a laser printer. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, I, I have a Walmart special printer, and I've had it for like well, five years. Well, it's a Samsung. It's a big one. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Options. So, get yeah, off topic much. Yeah, that was what I was doing while I was trying to avoid writing up the rest of the pattern for this. Um, <laughs> Why were you trying to avoid it? Because I didn't feel like writing it at the time. <laughs> okay. Um, this, you know, the little bit that I've shown you is... Another design by Nidpug. Another design. Um, this is the tank top. No longer a skirt. No longer a skirt. It has armholes and a neck. It's not going to come out because the, the cord that it's on is actually smaller than the size of the neck hole. So it won't... It'll be... Um, well, kind of like, this isn't really a shawl collar, but you get the idea. It'll be a shawl collar when it's done. And it's got the, the border at the bottom, and it'll have brown around the tops of the sleeves, probably. Uh, that was my plan, but we'll see how, this is the only ball of brown I have, so we'll see oh. how much is left. It might end up being black around the sleeves. Which is fine. Yep. Um... So I have one person who's testing this for me, so if anyone else wants to test knit a sport weight tank top, let me know. Thank you, Selma. Thank you, Selma. She's um, actually knitting it for me. <laughs> yeah, I do. So 
so I've got this mostly done. I just have to knit the, or write the instructions out for the sleeves and collar. Uh, and then this one is done. And this one was the one that I had the contest going, the name the tank top. Yes. And I got a lot of really good names. Which we'll get to in a bit. Which we will get to in a bit. Um, so yeah, this one's almost done. Um, so yeah. That's really all I can say about it because it's linen and it's a tank top. It's simple but nice. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for was the, the simple but elegant kind of thing. And those colors really do it. Yes. Um, yeah. And where's the other? I talked about that, I talked about that, I talked about that. Oh, yeah, shawl. Um, I showed you guys this one last. It still hasn't been blocked. Uh, and actually, uh, my friend Teresa at Knit Night came up with a um, a name for it because she had mentioned that the the diamonds and whatnot looked like the the dragon's tails. It was out Jamie. Of, was it Jamie? Jamie. Okay. Sorry, How to Jamie. train your dragon. How to train your dragon. Um, and. Yeah, so they look like the dragon's tails out of the, the movie How to Train Your Dragon. So it's probably going to be called Dragon's Tail. Um, which I will have to figure out how to spell tail properly. T-A-I-L. Yeah, because I can never remember. Yay, dyslexia! Not really. <laughs> there is no real reason other than the, the fact that I never use the word. Um, but I have special. that. Yes, I'm special, I know. I have this started. Uh, no, this is the right side. In Acid Dragon. <laughs> oh yeah, I love these colors. Um, this is in an Art by Anna party cake, and I'm actually designing it for Anna for her party cakes. And this is the one that uh, the actual colors that it's going to be in when it's full size. It's going to be wild. Oh yeah, um, this stuff is. This is one of her um, supersized or special editions, the SE party cakes yeah. that she does. Um, they're sock weight, and these ones are approximately 555 yards, mm -hmm. and it's a gradient. And she did actually correct me. She does still occasionally do the stripes. Oh, she does. Okay. Um, she just does more gradients than stripes these days. Mm -hmm. They sell better. Because they're really impressive. They are really impressive. And they work really, really well for things like shawls because they're long, long repeats. As you can see, there's, what, five colors in here? I think there's... Put it this way. Four, five, the yarn six. is... There's six colors. Tempting me, but the pattern is also tempting me. And I have a cake, too, so... Um, I have to get this one. I've got this one mostly written up, and I have test knitters who are going to do it for me as soon as I get it written. I need to get the tank top done before I can get this one done and yeah. But there's the beginning of it because I started it last night because I had to. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much everything I think. I've got one thing on the needles. I've got my Paloma, which I'll pull up my tablet here because I want to show people what it looks like. Seems new to me to still, so bear with me. So this is the Paloma. And hopefully there's not too much glare. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. I can make it a little bigger so you can see the drop stitch row that goes all the way up. Yeah, they look kind of like uh, pearl Rose. rows on there, but they're not. They're actually drop they're stitches. Not. They're drop stitches. And, and uh, it gives a really neat effect. So this is by, you never said any needle sizes, but we won't go back None to that None of them are now. new projects. No, they're not new projects either. So, I can't see. You can is put, that centered? Yes. yes. Okay, so from the orange stitch marker is, I did three full repeats. I was aiming for two, but by Wednesday I had two, and Carrie said, push on to three. So I got to the third one this morning. And this is, uh, like I said, the Paloma by Kim Hargraves in the Estelle Young Touch Yarn. And it's 3.25 millimeters, which is a US 3. And that's all I got. So we can go on to uh, stash. Okay. Because I have nothing on my wheel. 
Yeah, and I'm still just working on the same damn sock. <laughs> Which is? Plain vanilla in Wild Hair Pinnacle in the Hope colorway. Um, 2.5 millimeters, which is a 1.5? Yes. Okay, got it right. Um, I have nothing on the wheel. I should have spun this week after taking my class, but I didn't. I is bad. I plan on spinning tonight or tomorrow, hopefully, because um, I want to get back on my wheel. I've been not spinning in, in anticipation of taking my class, and then I didn't spin, so... Elizabeth, you won't be so proud of me if you watch this. I is sorry. But hey, it's life. So I got stash. My Yay. birthday lives on. Keeps on going. So I got a skein of yarn from Chris5797, who is our good friend Crystal. And this is a thing of beauty. It is midi in color. Yeah, it's twice, two midi in colors today. Uh, it is midi in color. And it is called, how do you pronounce that? Faunus? I think so. Faunus. F-A-U-N-U-S. And it's a beautiful green superwash. Sorry. Snap goes the lid. Superwash merino nylon. And yeah, sorry, I it was to open it a late before. birthday present. <laughs> and she gave it to me in this little, tiny little bag, which is really cute. There's no name, so I don't know who made it, but it's got these beautiful green little flowers on the inside. And Crystal, tell us who made it so we can put it in the show notes. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't know. Hint, oh, hint, 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 hint. Anyway, it's cute. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit the cake in there while I'm knitting whatever it is I'm going to knit with it. I'm not sure. I but think it'll fit. It, might. it would make a really good lace weight bag. It would, wouldn't it? Is that a hint? <laughs> no, actually. I don't knit with lace. Oh, right. <laughs> Never I think, mind. I think it'll fit. I think, I think it'll fit. It should sock fit then. Yeah. Sock. Do you think I should make socks out of these? No, no, but I'm saying it, sh it would it make, should a make a good project bag. bag for socks and hats okay. and stuff. Okay. So, that's, I got stashed and that was it. So, thank you, Crystal. Got anything? Yes. I actually bought my very first project bag off of Etsy. Isn't um, it pretty? It's from Dadies Doodads. Dadies doodads. Yep. Okay. And it's so. got this. It's fully reversible because the the seams are are hidden, so you can actually completely pop oh, it over. Oh wow! It. Gorgeous. And, and it's got uh, this really nice. Ribbon. So it depends if I'm in the mood to annoy Sue by having a green bag she can't sure. have. Yes. And if hey, <laughs> I'm breaking stuff down. Things down. Woo! Hello. <laughs> Watch oh, it, watch oh. it. <laughs> that, wasn't yeah, the bag. that was almost a different kind of show. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't the bag. Sorry. So I'll have to get the, uh, she's on Etsy, Diddy's Doodad. Diddy's Doodad. Diddy's Doodad. It is D A. Where's your name? D A Y D E E S D O O D A D S. It's, it's kind of hard to say five times fast. And yeah, the stitch that she used to hem the top. I don't know if sure it's going to pick it up. It. But it's little leaves. It is the cutest oh, thing. Oh, there. Yes, Got it. they're little leaves. Oh, wow. I did not notice that. <laughs> yeah, she was showing it to me yesterday. I'm like, eee, so cute. Because I love using And I had noticed like it until she oh, pointed wow. it out. And yeah, it was That it was is really, really nice. So I got that. Well, sorry, it was yeah. dirt cheap, too, so. Because, yeah, I can do stuff on the, my sewing machine, in theory. So now yeah. she's got a bag. She needs more. Well, now I have two, because I have the one that uh, Anna gave me yeah. last week. And yeah. He, because I'm spoiled. Which is apparently actually supposed to be a pencil case and not a project bag. But quite I don't frankly, care. It works for socks. It works for a project bag. And I have to admit, I really like the, the ribbon thingy. The oh, this one on each different Yeah. Cup? Different colored ones, because the, the drawstring, so yep. you don't get them confused. And I really like the drawstring thing. Yep. That's all I got. Yay. So... What do we do next? Name that tank top? Sure! Woohoo! Woohoo! This is why I actually have my laptop here today, which I'm going to get my knitting off of it. Yes, please. So name that tank top. Thank you so much. We had 28 posts. I think so, yeah. 28 different posts. Um, some of them had several names within the posts, so I don't even know how many. I'm going to apologize right now because my laptop is going to make noise because it's old and it's crotchety and it's, it's a cranky it's old like, man. It's kind of like us. Speak for yourself. I'm older and crotchety. I'll admit I'm it. I'm older, but I don't know if I'm crotchety. You anyway, are sometimes. No, it's not. <laughs> Woot! 
because apparently it didn't make any noise. It normally makes really loud noises. New battery? No. Does that help? No. No, I have no idea why it didn't, but I'm going to go with it. So, what are we doing first? Um, I'll announce the names first, I guess. Um, it was kind of down to three names. Mm -hmm. um, Morning Coffee uh, from Wynet, who is Yvonne, in, I think you're in Manchester, England. Um, Tanks for the Memories, which is Chessie, uh, who's Dolores, and you're from the U.S. That was my personal favorite. Um, and then the Bridgehead Tank, which was Crystal. Chris5797, who is our friend Crystal. Yep. Um, Morning Coffee was actually the one that I really liked the most, but there are a lot of patterns on RAV um, that have that name, unfortunately. So I decided not to go with it. Um, so it became between Tanks for the Memories and the Bridgehead Tank. Mm -hmm. And I like them both, but for this one I'm going with the Bridgehead Tank. But I am going to use Tanks for the Memories later, because as long as you don't mind the worst. So Crystal, you're the winner! Yep! Yay! Actually, all three of you are going to be a winner, because those were the three that I... Top three. Top three. And, well, if I'm going to use two of the three, and I wanted to use the third, then I might as well give you all the prize. Um, so, like I said at the beginning, I'm giving away your choice of pattern of one of my patterns. Um, any of the... You can have one of the three that are will be up by the time this airs, um, or any of the ones that I have up uh, coming up. So the, there's the big lace weight shawl, which I didn't show today because I didn't bring it because I haven't worked on it. Um, there's the little, yeah, where'd it go? Which won't be this little, um, <laughs> because this is a partial, very partial skein. Um, there's going to be this one, which is the dragon tail shawl. Mm -hmm. uh, or, and, the or the tank top. Or the hat, actually. Yeah, so. Any of the finished or upcoming patterns yep. that you get to choose. So just... Let me know which one you want, and I'll it send fits. it to you. Yes. She's stuffing stuff down her top. Yep. <laughs> um, so those three. And then, like I said, I'm going to do a random name draw for um, everyone who entered. Because thank you guys all for the entries. There was they some really, really, nice really names. good names in yeah. there. So. And we were cackling over a lot of them. Yeah. Um, and so. it was really hard for her not to comment. Oh my god, yes. I kept wanting to go I to comment. I think we would have doubled like, and tripled the thread, because even I wanted to comment on, I commented on a few, but I thought, I'm just going to try and keep it to a minimum. Uh, mm, must not say anything. Yeah, so um, so really she just said it to us instead. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They were getting random, you know, text messages and comments elsewhere and whatnot. Yeah. So there were 28 people who entered, yep. and... Random number generator. Random number generator. And this time I promise I won't screw it up. Well, actually, no, I don't promise that. I was going to say, don't don't be making promises. You can keep. It's okay. <laughs> it's like saying you're going to navigate us all the way to Chicago. Shut up. <laughs> you're the one who listened to the woman asleep <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> this is going to go on until the next shenanigan at Chicago. Probably. Although I'm not sure I can really top that one. <laughs> no, I don't know if you can. Um, so. So, yeah. I What I did was I just put everyone's name into a spreadsheet based on when you posted. So you're just in the order that you posted in. Um, so 1 to 28. Mm -hmm. And the number is 6. Number 6 is. Can you uh, see it? It'll show. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Not really. Not really. Uh, I give up. Anyway, yeah. so you far, can, fall you off can almost see the six. Yep. Is so number six is Java Pearl. Oh, yay. Yes. Uh, I'm just getting a real name. Because I know I have one here. Uh, I forget her name. Cece. Cece. That's it. Cece. Yay. Is that the lady okay. we met at? Um, no, that's no, Cece Carey. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, oh. yay, Java Pearl. So, PM me um, with your choices. Um, and what I might do is if you decide you want one of the ones that's coming up, um, I'll probably just give you a blanket um, code to use for it. Because that way I'm not going to forget, because I will. <laughs> yay. But, yay. So, the new tank top is officially the Bridgehead Tank. Yep. 
and it will be up once so I get it tested. Crystal, Chris5797, Chessie, and Wynet. Yep, and um, Jabba Pearl. Pearl. So, so all of you guys pan me. Mm -hmm. And I'll link it in the show notes. Yep. <laughs> Thumbs up. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. You can't poking the carry. Oh, poking the carry. Live. Yeah, really. Why not? Mm. Nah. Comic relief. True. <laughs> So the other thing we have is our 500 member draw. Yes, we, we have do. currently 509 members. Woo! -hoo! And Sue is only four of them. Why is there a sticky keys? Because one oh. of us is sitting on the. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the behind <laughs> Carrie's back. It, it fell down. down. There we go. Can, nobody can see that. Just nope. we can see it. It was very distracting. So the 500 member draw. Yep. We have 509 members. And we are going to draw for a up to five dollar U.S. pattern and a set of my stitch markers. Yep. So you need your cell thingy. phone. Cell phone. And I've got the list of. Yeah, I don't even have that sweater in my project page, so I have no idea what it is. I was gonna pull oh. out the sweater that I had. Yeah. Now well, we're yeah, back we're to that, that, are we? Yeah. Yep. I figured since I was there, I might as well check. So. First number, um, two to five oh nine. Two to five oh nine. Because Gary's number one, and I'm in there somewhere. I know which post. I know which number member I am because I've been several numbers along the way. Yep. I'm special, and I keep leaving the group. One hundred, two hundred, four hundred, and something. Four hundred and thirty-nine to be exact. She's the flouncer. Yeah. It's she because flounces. it's on my cell phone when it happens. I'm sorry. Well, Excuse this time Excuse I think Excuse I'm Excuse. number 400 or 401 or oh, something. Oh, right, because you added <laughs> knit pugs. You're number 400. Yeah. So the first uh, one we're going to draw. Sorry, so what was it to? 402 to 509. 509. So the first one is going to be for a set of my stitch markers. So you can go onto my site and pick a set you like. If there's nothing that you like there, I can make you up a set. Yep. Generate. 116. Oh, you can see it. Kinda. Kinda. So tempting. There we go. So number 116 is, excuse me for looking on the thingy here, is Linda M. Noble. So Linda, you've won a set of my stitch markers. I will PM you, but... What's her? Linda. Oh. Oh, no. That is her. Yeah. I was looking for her. Oh, uh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong one. No. It's this number I need to look at. Fiber this nymph. I'm sorry, Fiber Nymph, Lisa, you've won. Um, yeah, I'm using a new program on my, what do you call this thing? Tablet. So, sorry, Linda, but she's using because Excel. I said your name and I feel really bad, you can have a set too. So, Fiber Nymph. Bonus! So, number one and number one. So, Linda, I'm just writing this down, M, Noble, and then Fiber Nymph. So you guys both get stitch markers. Yeah. Bonus! Because I feel bad. So, and that is Lisa. And now for a $5 pattern, up to $5 pattern of your choice. 420. 420. Wow, it's not me. Not me either. Okay, I need to get into the 400s because, yeah. Because I'm actually closer 420 to 420 is Artsy Joe, which first name is Jan. So, Artsy Joe. You are the winner of an up to five dollar pattern, so please PM me and I will send that off to you. There you go. So for twenty cards. Joe. Done. Done. Thank you for everybody for joining the group and like if you haven't done it yet and you're watching us, join pause, get over there, join us, because the closer we get to the next one hundred We'll have a draw. Go but on, our, do it now. We'll wait. Yeah, we can wait. But our anniversary <laughs> is coming up next. <laughs> oh, come on. Somebody had to do the theme from Jeopardy in there. Yes. And are Which you back? I swear to God. Are you back now? You know, you've joined the group. You're back? Okay. It's I'm a Little Teapot. The theme from Jeopardy. It's yes. I'm a Little Teapot. I know that. But our next... Shut up. Our next... 
draws will be for the birthday cow. Yep. And then in August, we're waiting a little while, but in August we're going to have the Potiversary. Our one-year Potiversary is coming up at the end of July. So stay tuned because there will be big prizes. Yes. And there will be recording from Stitches. Yes. And there will be recording from Stitches. True. He. I totally forgot Which we about didn't that. do last year. No. But Which we will do this year. We've got flip cam. <laughs> yep. Yay. Um, so, anything else? Yes. If you want to donate a prize to oh, right. the Potiversary. For the Potiversary. Let us know. Careful. Needle beside your head. Dude! <laughs> seriously? <laughs> so if you want to donate something... That's it. Next time you're sitting next to her. I'm not here for the next two weeks. <laughs> there you go. So, next time and the next time. Where were we? <laughs> Stop with the shenanigans so we can talk. Oh, all right. So if you want to donate something... Children, she stuck her tongue out at me. Children, Put if it. you want to donate something for the Potiversary, please PM me. I will give you my address. Responsible adult. In the yes. Group. I will give you my address and you can send it along. <sighs> Anything else besides any more shenanigans? Can Are I be carrying you? No! You no! <laughs> Anyways. Before this goes any more crazy than it already has been. Or I break been. your ears by squeaking. Something. Somebody <laughs> pokes me. Happy knitting. Happy spinning. Bye. 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 Whee!